Okie dokie folks, we got another new product. This one is similar in size and shape to our mealworm separator. Uh, but this one is actually meant for beetles. This is a stacking beetle separator. I know that you have a ton of beetles and sometimes when you sift those beetles using that one eighth mesh, the beetles get sifted in with dead beetles. And how do you pick out the live beetles from the dead ones? How do you pick out the live beetles from your food particles or your sheddings or anything else that gets caught in that same size sieve? Well, this product is how. In the past, we might have to pick them out by hand or use a cardboard egg flat, lots of labor, but this will allow the beetles to do it all on their own. Let's take a look. The top level is just a lid. It can also double as a pupa tray if you need to. Let's take that off. These are not glued, so they might fall on me while we're filming. Um, and also the paper is still on it, so you don't get my fingerprints on it. This is actually a customer's order right here. So we're using his order before we ship it out. Here's the middle uh, tray, I guess. This is the main tray where you put your beetles, your dead ones, your live ones, whatever they're mixed in with. You just put them in this little base section right here. Here's a ramp. You can peel off the tape here uh, in between the little angles. Um, but in the test that I did, I left the paper on these and it gave a little more traction. So in theory, the beetles will climb up this ramp. Do, 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 do get interested in what's down there, fall off, and they will fall onto this ramp right here. This ramp will have the paper taken off and it will be smooth and they will not be able to hold on to it. They will fall down. You can see the ramp right here into a third awaiting ramp in the bottom level. So they climb up again, they fall, they fall down into the bottom chamber. This is where all of your live beetles are going to be hanging out partying you can have some food down here maybe a, I don't know some fancy music something to entice them to come from here down uh, because this is clear acrylic you'll be able to watch the whole process and because it's a uh, I can't talk because it's acrylic they won't be able to climb back up um, because the walls of this acrylic are very smooth and slippery for the mealworms or sorry, for the beetles. All right, so let's take a look at the bottom level just so you can see what I'm talking about a little bit more. Again, we're being careful with this since it will fall apart. And there's the bottom level. Pretty simple, just a big storage uh, chamber for the mealworms. Maybe you can put some bedding down below first so they have a little soft landing. Um, these are, I believe, a 45 degree angle. So by having one, two, three ramps, hopefully it should soften their blow, their fall a little bit. All right, once it's, this is glued with super glue or acrylic cement, it should um, stack and hold pretty securely. And I think that might be it. Let me know what you think. Um, I've had a couple farmers test this already and they say it works. So I can't wait to, uh, to get some feedback from you all.